What's up, guys? Finally back. <clears throat> oh, a little rusty. Uh, it has been about a while. Seems, seems like, you know, three months, but I believe like two weeks or so. Anyhow, uh, before I get into this video, uh, let me give a quick market update. I know a lot has happened the last two weeks. Uh, even a lot can happen in an hour with crypto. Uh, Bitcoin is at uh, 45693 so it's approaching that 46000 level. I did read a technical analysis from an expert saying that the next support level will be uh, 51k, so keep an eye on that. Ethereum is also up, the last 24 hours is up to $3,103, all right? XRP is up, Cardano's up, um, I believe, yes, Doge is up. <laughs> It percentage wise it's up more than uh, uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. It's up about five percent. Anyhow, um, you know, typically I don't do videos uh, Monday. God, yeah, today's Monday, uh, and today is August 9th. I didn't say that already Monday. Um, but this is important. What's happening with the crypto world? And if you haven't heard or or you don't think this may affect you, well, it can. Um, so we have this infrastructure bill. This is part of Biden's bill. Back America Better Plan, I believe he calls it. Um, so in the Senate, it's been going back and forth between Republicans and Democrats. So there is provision in there for cryptocurrency, uh, specifically what defines a broker, what is a broker, who should be, um, uh, what do you call watch, who should be uh, taxed, who you have to report to, just all types of regulation in there. Um, now there was the, the original way it was written and uh, again this bill has not been passed in the Senate yet um, the, the original way it was written was that it, the language in it pretty much said if you mine crypto even if you mine like something small like uh, V chain that's only about what 10 cents 11 cents a coin and um, you would have to sign up as a broker or it's mine and a, pretty much a lot of people in the crypto community said, that, well, that's just ridiculous. Um, all we're doing is generating a piece of code, essentially. So if you do this to, with this asset, um, then you're going to should be doing it with all kinds of other code. So uh, basically where it's at now is, again, it's in the Senate. So U.S. Senators Cynthia Loomis, a Republican from Wyoming, and Pat Toomey, Republican from Pennsylvania, announced a compromise involving Democrats, Republicans, and the Treasury Department over a contentious tax provision in a sense infrastructure bill on Monday. Now, I'm getting this from Coindesk, by the way. Um, I'll put a full, full link down below to the article. Also, um, I'll put a link down below to contact uh, where to find your local senator and contact information. Um, basically, um, what this is saying is... Um, going back to clearly defining what a broker is so according to this um compromise uh, the original text has not been released yet to the public as of right now uh i assume it will be essentially once they vote on it uh let me just go through what coindesk has reported the text itself would define a broker as any person who for consideration regularly effect effectuates transfer digital assets on behalf of another person and would exclude entities that validate transactions meaning miners or stakers Basically, the redefining what a broker is, or defining, I should say, what a broker is. Um, it was real generalized in the original text, so this words it where if you're mining or staking coins, you won't be defined as a broker. Now, why is that important? Well, to become a broker, you have to be registered with the SEC, and that takes a lot of money, <laughs> uh, which most people don't have, um, especially if you're just staking or mining coins. And staking, if you don't know what staking is, it's basically just earning interest by holding whatever crypto asset you may have, whether it's uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, I believe XRP, you can get uh, staking uh, rewards on that. Uh, anyhow, so um, as of right now, um, the senators involved with this with this rewriting of the of the of this provision of the bill was Senators Warner, Portman, Cinema, Toomey, and Loomis. So uh, basically now where it stands is that tomorrow the Senate's going to vote on this bill with this new provision in it um however if it doesn't pass with this new provision then it's going to go to uh the house without that new wording in it which could be an issue so uh like i said uh the bill or this provision the rewritten version has not been out yet to the public or released to the public uh, if it does by the time I post this video, then I'll definitely uh, 
put a link down below. So definitely what you guys need to do, all right? If you're pro crypto, um, contact your senator, senators uh, and let them know to vote yes on this new provision that, you know, if we're just mining or if we're just staking, that we won't have to sign up to be a broker, which costs, from my hear, it's like, from what I heard, it's like six, it's like six figures to sign up to be a broker here in the U.S. So that's why you see a lot of uh, companies outside the U.S., they won't come here because it's just, one, it's overregulated, two, it's just too, too costly. So anyhow, do that first for the crypto community. Second is um, if you're looking to get uh, rewards staking before this turns provision actually, uh, or this whole thing gets passed, which it may not happen overall, the overall bill, it's not just about crypto because this whole bill has to pass. Uh, the House and Senate and President Biden will sign off. It has to do with infrastructure from, from building, um, um, what do you call it, electric charging stations across the country, stuff like that. I did a video like, on it, um, God, that was like a long time ago, like back in May. Anyways, check it out. May I pull a link down below. Anyhow, do that first. Uh, contact your senators. Let them know to vote yes on the provision. That way, uh, people mining coins um, or just staking or and or just staking don't sound to be broker. Um, second, if you're looking to begin to crypto and you want to purchase crypto, a few links down below. You actually get free crypto. There's actually staking involved as well on some of those platforms where you get, you know, it goes weekly. Celsius is a weekly payout for crypto. If just for Bitcoin, Ethereum, they pay out. Uh, Voyager is one of my ones I like. Um, and Voyager is a publicly traded company, so uh, and they're registered with the SEC, so they're fully licensed and everything else. Anyhow, uh, if you want to get into stocks, uh, a few links down below with um, you get free stocks as well. So, uh, also new channel, appreciate you guys to the subscribe button, bring in contact this well. I try to bring in contact this every single week. I'm trying to do a better job. Just been super busy. All right. Um, anyhow, hit the subscribe button down below. Do content like this every single, or try to do content like this every week from crypto news to stock news to uh, new store businesses and stimulus news. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.